Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Nasser and I'm a solution consultant here at ServiceNow who specializes in the security operations offering. Uh, welcome to this video where I'm going to be demonstrating how we can use ServiceNow security operation to help us identify vulnerabilities like Log4j, prioritize them, and send them to the appropriate teams to help follow the preferred solution into patching these specific vulnerabilities. Now, I'm actually going to be using the new UI that we launched recently in our ROM release, starting off with the uh, Vulnerability Manager uh, workspace. From here, we are able to actually create specific watch topics that help us look into the vulnerabilities that we want to focus our attention on. As you can see, we have a bunch of different watch topics that are already uh, created. We can create new ones by simply going in identifying the name of that specific um, vulnerability that we are the specific watch list vulnerability title, the display order, who owns that vulnerability, etc. And then we can specify how are we looking for that vulnerability. So whether it's through the vulnerability ID or through the uh, exploit attack vector, etc. Now I've already created one of those watch lists for the log for shell vulnerability specifically. Uh, as you can see within the overview, I have just general information like the active vulnerable item over time, uh, the vulnerabilities and remediation efforts. Uh, I can even dig deeper into what are the specific vulnerable CIs. As we can see, most of them are on the tracked configuration files, web server, Apache, web server, etc. We can even look to see how many distinct vulnerabilities are associated with our watch list by simply going into the distinct vulnerabilities, clicking on them. And now we are accessing a full on list of all of the vulnerabilities that have been matched to that specific uh, watch list. Clicking at any of them, we're going to be presented with more information, uh, like the general details about this vulnerability, the source from which we've gotten it. So it looks like it has been imported through our tenable integration. Uh, we have the remediation target when it's set to do. Uh, general information that has actually been pulled from the national vulnerability data list, which is um, a list that is released by Nest with the latest vulnerabilities that they have recognized general information about them. And this typically helps the analyst or the manager understand what is that specific vulnerability and what efforts they need to take into actually uh, patching or remediating that vulnerability. So we have the vulnerability score, uh, a general risk score, a vulnerability v3 versus v2 score, the exploit skill level needed to uh, exploit this specific vulnerability, um, whether there is an exploit existing or not. And to actually help you understand how we've gotten to the specific risk score, I'm going to jump into the vulnerability record from another view to help launch the dependency view that helps us locate where is the specific vulnerabilities and how many impacted CIs we have in our system. Um, as we can see, this the specific vulnerability we're talking about today, Log4j, uh, exists on the web server uh, PS Apache 01. These are all of the other impacted CIs. Hence why the system had recognized this uh, with a critical risk rating and a risk score of 100. Now we can even see what are the impacted services when it comes to the specific vulnerability record over from this manager view. We can take some actions on it, like marking them as false positive, resolving them, requesting an exception, etc. Now moving on to how actually uh, a specific IT individual can help remediate that specific vulnerability. So if you look at the vulnerabilities, most of them have already been assigned to the appropriate group. In this case, it has been assigned to the IT securities uh, based on the criticality, based on the specific criteria that we put into place that helps the system determine which vulnerability goes to which group. In this case, it had already been automatically assigned to the IT security group. Now, moving on to the IT remediation workspace, which is also another workspace that we recently launched in Rome. Uh, as you can see, it's welcoming me. We can see how many uh, vulnerabilities are specifically assigned to me or assigned to my group. In this case, we only have one. Uh, so what are the tasks that we need to do in this case? Uh, it looks like we already have a solution for that specific vulnerability. Um, the actual specific vulnerability we are looking to remediate in this case is going to be Log4j, a specific um, vulnerability ID, which is 44228 or CVE 2021-44228. Uh, we can see all of the vulnerabilities associated. So um, as a member of this group, I know how many vulnerable items in my environment I need to actually patch. Uh, we can see if there are any third-party vulnerabilities, etc. And we can see what is the specific preferred solution for all of these vulnerabilities. Um, as you can see, it, the solution comes straight from the vendor, sorry, a vendor fix. Uh, we can see when it was released and what are the appropriate 
tasks that needs to be taken to remediate the specific vulnerability. So we can later on generate these uh, remediation tasks on the remediation task tab and help delegate them to the appropriate individual within uh, our team. And that sums up how we can use vulnerability response to help identify and prioritize log for j vulnerability. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch uh, our demonstration.